you guys, what is up? It is Karen, aka Cakes by VK, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a tutorial on this look right here featuring the new NYX X Aquaria palette. First of all, look at this packaging, like, oh my gosh. I will say that I had the privilege of going to the NYX X Aquaria event at the NYX headquarters. Aquaria unfortunately was not there but we did get to play with her beautiful collaboration and with some of the new product launches that are happening this summer with NYX. Them being the On The Rise mascara which I also use today and their new Electro Brights matte lip creams which come in an array of amazing colors which is perfect for this month because it is Pride Month, and they also came out with three different shades of their Electro Brights pigments, which unfortunately I didn't use in this tutorial, but I absolutely love them. I did play with them a little bit yesterday, and I was really, really impressed. They really do pack a punch, and I do want to say just because that they invited me to their event and I got all these products for free, that in no way sways my opinion on these products. You know, I always give it to you guys straight up. I will say before we get into the tutorial that this palette requires a tacky base. Now, I did swatch them on my arm yesterday when I was at the event and I didn't have a base on and the swatches were honestly amazing with the exception of one of the shimmers and I don't know if that's like intentional if it's supposed to be just like a light dusting of shimmer but back to the topic the mattes are absolutely amazing I always use a tacky base so it's not really of an issue for me to use something a little bit extra with the palette I know some people don't really like using extra products in conjunction with a palette but that is not a problem to me so with that being said let's just go ahead and roll the two Tutorial. We're starting out with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. Y'all know, if you've been watching YouTube for like ever, this is an OG move, okay? So I'm taking this as a base and it is super tacky, which is perfect. It's what we want and I'm just tapping it out with my fingers right here, as you can see. So I'm taking this red shade from the palette, which is a really gorgeous fiery red, and I'm taking this on a NYX 15 brush, which is a little detail blending brush, and we're just going to pack the red into our crease. You can kind of see that the shadow is thinning out a little bit towards the inner corner of the eye, so I just dip back into the palette and we're just packing more pigment into that area. And now we're just going to blend the edges a little bit. I'm going to start winging this red shadow out, as you can see right there. Adding a little bit more pigment now so I can have more product to work with when I blend it all the way out and smoke it out. So as you can see, I'm just doing that really lightly. And now I'm going in with that gorgeous yellow shade on a Morphe M514 brush and we're just going to diffuse those red edges out and blend them into our skin a little bit more so there's no lines of demarcation. And this is a really light shade so I'm going in pretty generously with the shadow. Boom, baby! That is an intense black shadow. I'm packing it in and I'm just blending it out again with my Morphe M514 brush. Again, just really diffusing the edges. I use the NYX number 15 brush to pack it on, and now we're using this one to blend it out. Pack it on and blend it out, people. So again, just blend those edges. I'm using a really, really soft hand, and I'm sorry that I keep going all the way down to the bottom of this camera shot, but we're, we're making it work. Again, going in with that NYX 15 brush and just diffusing those edges a little, little, little bit more. Milani, Conceal and Perfect Concealer. We're going to cut our creases now, y'all. I'm taking a City Color CCB 104 brush. I love this because it comes to a really fine point. I mentioned this in my May Favorites. If you guys haven't checked that out, link is in the description down below if you want to see more of these vids. So I'm just cutting the crease. Nothing really special here. Let me know if you guys want me to do a tutorial on cutting my crease. I know a lot of people have trouble with it. I personally have pretty hooded eyes and I find that this method really works for me. So let me know if you guys want an in-depth tutorial on that. I have an old one, but I feel like I should update my videos for you guys. Now we're cooking with some gas. I'm 
applying this beautiful teal blue shade right on top of my concealer which was a mistake and i will get to that later but it came out really chalky without a tacky base <laughs> Next, we're going to fill in our waterline and our tight line with a Koki pencil in the shade Black is Black. I absolutely love this. It's so long wearing. Sorry if this creeps any of you guys out, but it has to be done. Now I'm going to pack on some black shadow and smoke that out and make it look a little bit more natural with the NYX number 10 brush. And now going back in with the red shade and just kind of connect where the red meets the bottom lash at the point at the outer corner of my eye if you will and just adding more of that pigment and now going back in with that jumbo eye pencil to provide a tacky base for our white shadow that we're going to apply as a highlight blending that out with my ring finger applying a little bit of that white shadow look at that white shadow and then we're blending that out and also applying a little bit of the Anastasia Beverly Hills So Hollywood Highlight because that's the one I'm wearing on my face as well. I'm going to make it look a little bit cohesive. And now it's mascara time, everybody. And we're going to just apply this. You know how it goes, yada, yada, yada. I will have to say I do use the NYX worth the hype mascara religiously like every day. And this is a lot lighter than that, which I'm a huge fan of. All right, now we are back to this. I unfortunately forgot to apply a base over my concealer, so I'm trying to go in and fix it with the NYX eye pencil, and we're just going to pack more of that blue shadow on. I mean, it works. It does look a little bit patchy because I didn't apply the jumbo eye pencil all over my lid, and you guys can see my clownery <laughs> but as you can tell from the other eye it does blend out really really well all right you guys so that is it for this tutorial thank you again to nyx so much for inviting me to my very first beauty event i honestly was so nervous and if you guys follow me on my instagram you kind of got like the whole gist of what i was feeling but if you guys don't follow me make sure you do i am way more frequent on there than i am here and also let me know if you guys like this new setup i'm trying something a little bit different and I want to try something a little bit more you know far away so let me know your thoughts on that let me know if you guys are going to be picking up this palette or any of the new launches from NYX this summer and with that being said don't forget to like comment subscribe thumbs up all that good good and I'll see you guys in my next one bye